So here I'm going to talk about fixed points and stability um, applied to a two-dimensional system. So we have x and y are function of time. So let's look at dx dt, or x dot, is some function of x and also some function of y. And y dot is some other function of x and y. Okay. So we want to know what is a fixed point of this um, two-dimensional system. Well, a fixed point will have uh, the value of uh, x and y, say, equal to x star, y star. With uh, x dot and y dot equals 0 at x star y star. So we'll have both f of x star y star equal to 0 and g of x star y star equal to 0. So that defines a two-dimensional fixed point of the differential equation. So then what about the stability? of these fixed points. Well, we have to perturb the fixed points. So we let x of t equals x star plus some uh, perturbation, which can change vary in time. And we have y of t equals y star plus some independent perturbation, so I'll call it delta which can also vary in time. Okay, So we take these um, perturbations and we substitute into the differential equations. So the derivative of uh, the constants x star and y star are 0. So we will get epsilon dot. And then we have f of x, which will be f of x star plus epsilon. And we'll get delta dot equals g of, sorry, this is f of xy. So x star plus epsilon, y star plus delta. And this is g of xy, x star plus epsilon, y star plus delta. OK. Um, epsilon and delta are both considered small. We're only interested in the time when these perturbations are small. So we can do a Taylor series expansion. So here we need a two-dimensional Taylor series expansion. So we um, do the first one, so epsilon dot. So we have f at x star y star is the constant term x star and y star is a um, fixed point. So this constant term is going to be 0. Plus the first order terms. So epsilon times partial f with respect to x at the point x star y star plus delta partial f with respect to y at the point y, x star, y star. x star, y star. Um, plus the higher order terms, which we will throw away. Uh, because we're doing a linear stability analysis. So then we also have the delta. So we have delta dot is the constant term, g of x star, y star. x star, y star is a fixed point. So that 2 is 0. And then plus the uh, linear term. So uh, here. Um, epsilon partial of g with respect to x at the star variables. Let me just put star here. 
plus delta partial of g with respect to y at the star variables, okay? Plus higher order terms, which we'll throw away. So now we have um, two coupled systems for epsilon and delta, and they're linear. So there's only an epsilon here and a delta here, an epsilon here and a delta here. We're throwing away these terms, right? We're neglecting these terms. So these dot, dot, dot terms, this is neglected. And this one also neglected. OK. So we have a linear equation. So what do we got here? We have d dt of epsilon delta. And we have a matrix. This one's multiply epsilon, multiply delta. So the derivative of f with respect to x, let me just use this notation, partial of f with respect to x, partial of f with respect to y, partial of g with respect to x, g. and partial of g with respect to y, that times uh, epsilon delta. And this matrix here, everything is evaluated at x star and y star. So let me just put star there, OK? All right, so the, um, the stability problem, the linear stability problem, comes to this uh, two coupled uh, first order linear equations. So when does epsilon and delta grow? When does epsilon and delta decay? It depends on the eigenvalues here. And in particular, it depends on the real part of the eigenvalues. Okay? So if the real part of all the eigenvalues is less than 0, then epsilon and delta will decay. So if the real part of uh, both eigenvalues is less than 0, then uh, stable, right? Because epsilon and delta decay. On the other hand, if, if one eigenvalue has a positive real part, meaning greater than 0, then it's unstable. Because along that eigenvector, the solution will uh, grow. Okay, So it all comes down to the real part of this matrix, uh, the eigenvalues of this matrix. This matrix here, right? is called the Jacobian at the fixed point. Okay. 